Why hello there everyone and welcome back, I'm your host today Mr. Mobile. As you can tell, there is a little stick man on my screen. And, if you can also tell, he talks when I talk. That's because I found an app that allows me to make my stick man talk when I talk. And I can make him do other animations, I haven't got that far yet though. So uh, tell me in the comments what you think about this. I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not, I just thought it was something cool maybe to work with before I do a face reveal and all of that and put my face in all my videos. I thought this would be sort of cool. But anyway, we had an update. An update inside of Fortnite Creative. If we go into my game here, we will find out that two new weapons were added. We got a firework flare gun again, who cares about that? But the rip saw launcher. I seen this in the trailer and it was like the only thing I was excited for. Yeah, I really like these, uh, you know, these type of guns. Like you got this new one, you've got also the, can we go down a bit faster please? Thank you. We've also got the recycler that, you know, they're just like much more different looking compared to other weapons. Unfortunately though, it doesn't work with infinite ammo yet, and you can't reload it. Like, there's no there's no ammo in consumables that you can load this with. Like, if I go ahead and grab all the different ammo types, you'll see my ammo does not go up at all. So, they really need to give us the ammo type for this, because uh, 12 is not enough for games I want to use this on. But anyway, Firework 1. Works the exact same way it did before. It shoots a firework into the sky. The chainsaw, I'm calling this the chainsaw, bro. You can charge it and it goes pew and you let it go. And it shoots a saw blade. How cool is that? I'm not too sure about the particles. I would love to see it without the particles, but it's still really awesome. If you put it right below you, it just goes off and if you put it right above you which I thought was interesting actually I should probably do this away from buildings right yeah but if you do it right up it uh oh wow I'm there what what happened there shoot it right why why does it turn flying off that's a, that's a bit of a bug is it outside the water I don't know but anyway another thing about this is it goes across water it goes down a wee bit but it does indeed go across the water and it looks like it it sort of went up there but uh, it does collide with this bit of here. Goes up and then comes down. Man, I hope we get like a prop for that or something. That is so cool. I, w I really hope we get like a prop version of that. That would be awesome. But yeah, those are the two things. Now, uh, what can you use them for? Well, the firework flare gun is literally a flare gun, but shoots fireworks. This would be great for, you know, like party themed maps or summer themed maps. When it's all real dark in the sky, you could give players a firework flare gun and it gives a nice firework effect. As for the Rip Sal Launcher, I got a couple of ideas which I'll get back to you when I have them. The first option is bowling. So I got some pins set up here and this is honestly the idea I thought of when I uh, first seen it. I thought, man, that might be really good for bowling. And uh, we're going to give it a shot here and see. It doesn't have a great zoom, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully the melee manager or something will let us customize that a bit more. Let's go ahead and fire it down. What did we get? Oh, oh, oh. I don't think you could ever get a strike in this, but uh, oh, we got a score of 120. That's great. Can we get a, a spare at least? Maybe if we go around this way. This is just like 360 version of, uh, you know, the amazing sport of bowling. So... Oh, look at that. We got a spare, everybody. We got a spare. Look at that. A perfect score of 200. Yeah, I think I got the highest score ever. But this is just a really cool weapon. I just hope that they uh, allow us to customize it a bit more in creative because uh, it may be cool, but it definitely it does not have great customization for creative mode. Like, I'd love to turn that particle effect off. I'd love to change the speed it goes to, the damage it does the uh, gravity on it, how far it goes, all of that stuff. I'd love to change that because I had some great ideas for it. It's just, it, it has some drawbacks to the reason why I can't actually use it. Now back to the firework flare gun, I want to see, does it actually make the world glow? So we'll place this bad boy down. You're our new Sky Dome boy. And let's go ahead and make everything black. 
Okay, I suppose we could try with this saying the wow, that is really dark shadows. <laughs> Why are those shadows so linear? That is weird. But yeah, let's see if this actually gives off some light. Oh, it does. I'm not sure if the actual firework gives off light. Oh, it definitely does. Look at the rocks over there. Wow, that makes a big bright thing. <laughs> but let's see, does the flare gun actually give off that brightness too? I'm assuming it does, probably just not multicolored. It doesn't. Okay, so if you would like it to be some sort of torch, then the firework flare gun is a much better choice. Again, look at all of that light. The flare gun, no light at all. Across the bottom, gives a nice red. This one gives a nice red, but still gives that explosion of light afterward. Like that's that's a big amount of light. So that's definitely interesting. I might have some ideas for that one. But anyway, that was the update. And yes, I'm working on my new mini games map. As we have finished Terrifying Tents, yes, Terrifying Tents is also now went ahead and came out of beta testing. There will still be updates to it, we've got one more big update planned at the minute, which will hopefully get the amount of events either up to 45, or if we make it a huge update, 50 events. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one tomorrow everyone, and remember, please tell me in the comments what do you think of the little stickman guy, tell me do you think he's too small, too big, should I have it, should I not have it at all, let me know. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next one everybody, doodaloo and goodbye.